Okay, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, get your tablet to behave with Paint Shop Pro. First thing I want to do is, well, tell you number one that I've minimized the the uh, work area here so that you can see it. We're going to open a new, and I've already got it set, but it's in presets. So I'm just going to use the 6x4 horizontal. I don't want it to be transparent. White backgrounds, okay. There we go. Now, we're going to click on the paintbrush. You'll notice here's the option bar. There are a couple, just two presets large hard edge or a small blender. And if you, uh, if you change any of these. Uh, options here in the options bar and you like that brush you can save it give it a name and then it'll appear here in the presets this is a very important icon you will see it in all kinds of drop downs and dialogues the blue circle with the left swishing arrow that's reset so if you mess anything up you can click reset and it takes you back to how it was originally but to get your Wacom tablet to work, you want to fiddle with the brush variance dialog. Go up here to view, palettes, brush variance. You're going to get this, and you're going to go, oh. Now, this is no, the changes you make in here are not going to be carved in stone. See, here's that blue circle with the left swishing arrow to reset it. If you mess up, just click on this and everything goes back to how it looks when you first opened it. You can uh, choose how the colors blend together. And on all of these drop downs, the ones with the asterisks here, pressure, tilt, tilt direction, orientation, finger wheel, and Z wheel, which I wouldn't worry about Z wheel for right now, or finger wheel to tell you the truth. But these are what you want to choose to have your Wacom tablet control. Okay, it's got pressure, tilt angle, and tilt direction are important because on your Intuos, your Intuos is very, very sensitive to the tilt of the pen. And you can play with these. Like I say, if you mess up, you've always got your reset button right there. And you can do the same thing with hue. Got red, you know, do you want it lighter red, darker red, whatever. Okay, how do you want the hue to look? And you can set the hue to be controlled by your your um, Wacom tablet. Lightness, size, opacity, thickness, rotation, especially, uh, you know, if you've got a round brush, rotation, it doesn't matter much, it's going to be round. But, uh, uh, if you've got a brush, uh, let's say that uh, has a, here, let's show you up here in the brush selector. Let's say you have a square brush, or you have a brush that's like mine, that I, this, these pointy flower, or the little thing that looks like, a, like moons or something, then rotation matters. Right now the open side is toward the left. You may want it so the open side is facing down. So, do you want the rotation control by? Uh, do you want the rotation control probably by the orientation? So, if you turn your pen, the brush turns along with it. Okay, and that's very important. But like I say, the most important thing is the reset button. Now, just to repeat, the changes you make to these, what you decide to let the tablet control is changeable. You might want color blend to be controlled by pressure and then when you're actually using the pen you find out, oh, I think it's better to have it be controlled by the tilt angle. You know, whether my pen is straight up and down or whether I'm holding the pen at 45 degrees or whatever. And, in, and when you paint in real life, generally it's the tilt angle that controls how the color blend. Okay. I hope this helps you out a lot. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to uh, talk to you about right now, but I can't see anything important.